Just a minute, Joe. Hmm? You know, it's too far to walk to the village tonight. Well, what's the matter with camping out? Well, that's all right with me. Look. Why, that's the old Craig cabin. Supposed to be haunted. Well, what difference does that make? Better than sleeping out on the cold ground. Come on, a few spooks might be interesting. Beaten to death, eh? Come on, Joey. We better report this to the coroner. The Craig Summer Homes in the neighborhood, we can phone from there. Good. This is Sheriff Franklin. Yes? We were hunting and found the body of a murdered woman in your cabin. A murder? In my cabin? A young woman, apparently beaten to death. Just a moment. Describe the woman. An attractive brunette, about 25. Why? Why, that description fits my daughter-in-law, Sharon. But it can't be her. My son put her on the train for the city this morning. Dad, Dad, Sharon's been murdered. Oh, poor Sharon. This is a terrible blow to my son, gentlemen. Leave us alone for a few moments, please. understand how that boy discovered his wife dead. Without our seeing him in the cabin or passing him on the way. Douglas, are you sure you put Sharon on the train this morning? Well, certainly, Dad. Why, well, you don't suppose that I... I believe you, son. But you've been acting strangely lately. your son for a moment. Alone, if you don't mind. Would you mind closing the door, Mr. Craig?
You say you put your wife on the train this morning? Yes, the 9.30 train. What did you do after the train left? I remained in the village. I wanted to see Gerald Truesdale. Who's he? He's an actor. What did you want to see him about? That's a personal matter I'd rather not discuss. It'll be to your advantage not to withhold any information. To realize you're under suspicion. Well, well, I've had a suspicion that Truesdale has been secretly meeting my wife. Hmm. Jealous, eh? Did you see him this morning? No. They told me at the village that he'd gone hunting. What did you do then? Came back home. Finally decided to walk through the woods, hoping I might find him. Well, that's all for the present. Come in. We'll expect you gentlemen to remain here until we return. Butler sneak out through the woods in the direction of the cabin. Caught with the goods. What have you got in those bags? Put them down there. Open them up. Come on. <laughs> you are a marked man, Higgins. You cannot escape the law. <laughs> he won't get far. Let's see what he had in those bags. Let's take a moment about the light there, Mort. Hey, Joe. Hey. Truesdale. Truesdale. He's the man we want. Let's see if we can catch him down at the village. All right. Information the clerk gave us is correct. Tuesday ought to be here shortly. We've been waiting about two hours. That looks like one of Craig's cars coming now. You wait inside, Constable. Mr. John Craig sent you this funny Truesdale. You know the instructions. Get out of the country quick. All right. Pick them up. You try and get away a second time, and I'll plug you. Get out. 
This is John Craig's car, isn't it, Constable? Yes. Here, Constable, lock these men up and hold them for further instructions. Come on. <laughs> the arm of the law is reaching for you, John Craig. Are you prepared? <laughs> Mr. Craig? We'll have to hold you while we're investigating this murder. On what grounds? We saw your butler hand Truesdale a roll of money with instructions from you to get out of the country. You can't pin this on Higgins. He's innocent. I'll explain. Much against my wishes, my only son Douglas married Sharon. I knew she'd bring misery into his life. They got along fairly well until Truesdale came to this town. Sharon. Hello, honey. I can't go with you tonight, Jerry. We're being watched. In the morning, Douglas is going to take me to the station. But instead of going to the city, I'll slip off the train at the first stop. Meet me there and we'll go to the cabin. All right. So, uh, Douglas put her on the train this morning. She presumably left the train at the next station where she met Truesdale, and they motored back to the cabin. Higgins' suspicions were aroused, and... He knew Douglas was headed for the cabin, and he wanted to prevent him from discovering the unfaithfulness of his wife and save the boy a heartache. So he hurried back to the cabin to warn Sharon. You don't know how glad I am to get away from here, Jerry. I'm sick and tired of that entire Craig outfit. Sharon, I'll take care of her. Get out. Young Craig is on his way here. Sharon! Sharon! He rushed back here and had just finished telling me what happened when you gentlemen entered. <laughs> yes, you have told the truth, John Craig. The shadow knows. <laughs>